वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द लिटररी वर्क्स विथ देयर सब टाइटल्स दिस वीडियो कंटेन्स इम्पॉर्टंट एंड यूजफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर परसुईंग द नेट एंड सेट एग्जाम्स I have already produced three videos on literary works with alternate titles. The last three videos they are also important for you for most of the times the questions are put to the students on that topic also. You will also find questions put to you on literary works with their subtitles so i have made this particular video for you without wasting your time let's dive into the video and enjoy it literary works with subtitles there have been many literary works in english literature which hold subtitles we are going to take a brief survey of some literary works in english literature which have subtitles sir thomas brown's prose work pseudodoxy epidemica has been subtitled as inquiries into very many received tenets and commonly presumed truths the work is known to the readers as vulgar errors It was published in 1646. It is important to note that Thomas Brown has commented upon more than 100 problems in the work. In Vulgar Errors, the readers can find a fine blending of folklore, magic, biblical, medieval, and classical history. Susanna St. Lever's play The Wonder holds a subtitle, that is, A Woman Keeps a Secret. The play was published in 1714. It is important to note that the play was dedicated to George the 1st. The wonder influenced David Garrick to great extent. Wedlock, a satire of his Mehitable Wesley, been subtitled as a satire. Mehitable Wesley has attacked the marriage system in this satire. It was written in 1730. Mary Collier's poem, The Woman's Labor has been subtitled as an epistle to Mr. Stephen Duck. In this poem, Mary Collier defended the industry of rural women. It was produced in 1739. The Champion of Virtue, a novel by Clara Reeve, holds a subtitle namely, A Gothic Story. It was published in 1777. It is also known to the readers as The Old English Baron. Clara Reeve has dexterously employed supernatural elements in the novel. It appeals to the readers for the writer has made the supernatural seem probable and logical. Vansenza, a novel of Mary Robinson has been subtitled as The Dangers of Credulity, a moral tale. The novel was published in 1792 and it deals with a story of an uneducated girl, Elvira who falls in love with her half-brother. Elvira dies on knowing the truth that the man she loved is her half-brother. The novel is set in 15th century Spain and it puts stress on women's education. The Emigrants, a poem by Charlotte Smith, carries with a subtitle that is a poem in two books. It was dedicated to William Cooper and published in 1793. Charlotte Smith has criticized the September massacre in France and the execution of Louis the 16th. Marmion, a historical romance in verse by Sir Walter Scott has been subtitled as A Tale of Flodden Field. The poem presents a story of Marmion, Constance of Beverly and Lady Clare. The poem is tinged with gothic elements of horror. It was appreciated by the Bronte sisters and Jane Austen. The poem was written in 6 cantos and it was published in 1808. Beppo, a poem of Lord Gordon Byron holds a subtitle that is A Venetian Story. The poem deals with the story of a lady's husband, Beppo, who has not been living with her. 
Beppo meets the lady and her lover at a Venetian carnival. The poem ends on a note of reconciliation between the two. The poem was published in 1818. Conterini Fleming, a novel of Benjamin Disraeli has been subtitled as a psychological romance. The novel was published in 1832. Benjamin Disraeli has given a fine and vivid picture of the development of the poet. The novel was influenced by Goethe's famous work, Wilhelm Meister and Lord Byron. Thomas Carlyle's well-known semi-autobiographical work Sartoris Artis hold a subtitle, namely, The Life and Opinions of Herr Teufelsdruck. It was produced in 1833. The phrase Sartoris Artis means the tailor repatched. The work was influenced by German Romanticism. Sartoris Artis abounds in exclamation marks, capital letters and German phrases. A famous poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson, The Princess holds a subtitle namely, A Medley. The poem influenced Gilbert and Sullivan, it made them produce their work Princess Ida. The poem deals with the theme of women's education. It was published in 1847. Elizabeth Gaskell's Condition of England novel, Mary Barton has been subtitled as A Tale of Manchester Life. It is important to note that it is Elizabeth Gaskell's first novel. Mary Barton deals with the lifestyle of working class of industries. The novel was praised by Charles Dickens and Thomas Carlyle. The novel was published in 1848. Charles Kingsley's novel, Yeast has been subtitled as a problem. Yeast was published in 1848. The novel deals with religious and social problems of the period, it depicts pathetic condition of the rural working class. Hard Cash, a sensation novel by Charles Reed carries with it a subtitle, namely a matter-of-fact romance. The novel was published in a sequence form as Very Hard Cash in 1863. In Hard Cash, Charles Reed has criticized the malfunctioning of asylum system in Britain. Charles Kingsley's novel, The Water Babies holds a subtitle that is, A Fairy Tale for a Land Baby. It was published in 1863 in a book form. Charles K George Eliot's novel Middlemarch hold a subtitle namely, A Study of Provincial Life. The novel was published in 1871. It presents social and political transformation of the time. The novel has been written in didactic tone. Ben-Hur, a historical novel by Lewis Wallace, has been subtitled as A Tale of the Christ. It was published in 1880. Richard Jeffries' novel Beavis deals with a story of two boys, Beavis and Mark. The novel holds another subtitle, that is, The Story of a Boy. There is a fine description of natural surroundings of rural areas. The novel was published in 1882. Christina Georgina Rossetti's prose work, Time Flies has a subtitle namely, A Reading Diary. The diary contains information about each day of the year. The work was produced in 1885. The Mayor of Casterbridge, a famous novel by Thomas Hardy, has got a subtitle namely, A Story of Character. The novel was produced in 1886. It deals with the story of Michael Henshard who sells his wife and a child for five guineas to a sailor in a drunken state. Edward Bellamy's utopian novel, Looking Backward holds a subtitle that is, 2000-1887. The novel was published in 1888. It deals with a story of Julian West who goes to sleep in 1887 and wakes up in the year 2000. Julian West finds great transformation in society on waking up. The novel touched the heart of many writers. Robert Louis Stevenson's novel, The Master of Ballantrae has been subtitled as A Winter's Tale. It deals with a feud between two brothers, Master of Ballantrae and Henry. The narrator of the novel is Ephraim McKellar. The novel was published in 1889. Tess of D'Urbervilles, another novel by Thomas Hardy, has been subtitled as a pure woman. Henry James criticized the novel as chock full of faults and falsity. The novel was published in 1891. 
Tess of D'Urbervilles ends with a note by Thomas Hardy, it reads, justice was done, and the president of the immortals had ended his sport with Tess. Oscar Wilde's play The Duchess of Padua is a tragedy in verse. It holds a subtitle namely, Guido Ferranti. The play was published in 1891. Oscar Wilde's famous play, The Importance of Being Earnest carries a subtitle, namely, A Trivial Comedy for Serious People. The play was performed in 1895, at St. James Theatre, London. Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest describes the story of two men, John Worthing and Algernon Moncrief. The play ends on a happy note after much confusions of identity. Jean Rees's work, The Left Bank holds a subtitle, that is, Sketches and Studies of Present-Day Bohemian Paris. It was produced in 1927 with an introduction by Ford Maddox Ford. Doris Lessing's series of five novels, Canopus in Argos has been subtitled as Archives. In this series of novels, Doris Lessing deviated from the traditional realism and carved her own fictional world where there is absolute freedom. The novels were published between 1979 and 1983. Thus, there are many literary works which hold subtitles with them which often confuse the readers. I hope you like the video. I will meet you soon with an interesting topic on English literature which will also be helpful and useful for you as far as your examinations are concerned. If you really like the channel and the content of this particular channel literature guide please like and subscribe this channel i will meet you soon with a new and interesting topic please subscribe literature guide